Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Siri. Now, over the past couple of months, Apple continues to improve Siri and add new features with every new software update. Now, I haven't had the chance to really revisit Siri and share with you guys what's new with the latest updates to Siri. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new capabilities and improvements for Siri within the latest iOS 17, 17.1, and even iOS 17.2. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So with iOS 17, Siri Siri has gotten more conversational, if you will. So you can ask her a question, for example, what's the weather in New York, and then follow up with an additional question or a follow up to the same question, and she'll continue the conversation. Let me give you a quick example of that. So how's the weather in New York City Saturday? Expect rain in New York, New York on Saturday. How about Maryland? Expect rain in Annapolis, Maryland on Saturday. How about in Florida? Looks like it will be cloudy in Tallahassee, Florida on Saturday. And I can be more specific as well. So I can ask specific cities and Siri will continue the conversation that you just saw. And this is just a quick example on how Siri has gotten more conversational. You can also ask her different questions. So I can go and say, how's the weather in Tampa, Florida this Saturday? Looks like it will be partly cloudy in Tampa, Florida on Saturday. Is there any nice hotels in Florida? Here's what I found. How about nice hotels in Tampa? Okay, here's what I found. Okay, how about nice restaurants in Tampa, Florida? Here's what I found. Okay, so as you can see right there, she continues to give me results. I continue the conversation. Siri is just more useful this way. And this is new within iOS 17 and above. Now with iOS 17, Apple has also added some new software capabilities and actions. For example, if you want to learn how to reset your iPhone, you can ask Siri, how do I reset this iPhone? You can do that in transfer or reset iPhone settings. To simply restart your iPhone, just say restart my iPhone. So she's telling me I can go into settings and reset iPhone settings. So basically I go here into general, scroll down, and then I click on transfer and reset right there. And then I can go ahead and reset my iPhone or erase my iPhone. So basically it's telling me how to do this. Now I can also ask Siri to perform certain actions like restart this iPhone. Just to confirm, you want to restart this device? Obviously if I click on restart, it will restart. I can also ask Siri to power off this iPhone. Just to confirm, you want to power off this device? As you can see right there, obviously if I click power off, Siri will power off the iPhone. So yeah, with iOS 17 and above, Siri continues to gain software capabilities and perform certain actions for you if you wish to do so. Now, as of iOS 17.2, Apple added two additional capabilities to Siri. So the first one is Siri can now tell you your altitude. So if you like climbing, hiking, and things like that, this is going to be very useful. And Siri can now tell you your ETA when using Apple Maps. So yeah, you don't have to look at your phone or anything like that. So two additional capabilities for Siri within iOS 17.2. Now Siri can also set multiple timers within iOS 17. So let me give you a quick example here. Set a timer for five minutes. Set another timer for three minutes. Set another timer for one minute. And as you can see right there, Siri can continue setting timers with no interruptions. The ability of Siri continuing the conversation also helps a lot. Now, this also works on standby. So if I place my iPhone on this charger here in landscape mode and we go into standby mode, we can actually invoke Siri, of course, and ask her to set a timer. Set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, counting down. And as you can see right there, the timer starts from left to right. I love the animations. You get the time and things like that. But of course, you can ask to set another timer. Set a timer for one minute. One minute, counting down. And you see that now you have a clock here where you can click and you can switch between the timers and the animation. It looks pretty cool. So you have new capabilities. And finally, you can add multiple timers on standby. And also, just like so, you can set them on the lock screen. If you need additional timers or multiple timers at once, finally is capable of doing this in iOS 17. Now within iOS 17, you can also change the default messaging service for a particular contact, depending on who you're sending the message to. The operating system in Siri can detect if the contact actually has other messaging applications. So if I ask Siri, send a message to mom. What do you want to say? Hello. 
So right okay. here, we can click Sign right in. there where it says mom. I can change the messaging application right there. And it gives me sort of a timer there on the send button for me to cancel or send. But I can go ahead and click here, as I mentioned, and send via WhatsApp or Rove. So different messaging services that my mom does have, I can actually use those. And it will remember. So next time when you go to send a message, it will use the app that you select on that platter menu there for you to send a message to a specific contact. So a really cool new feature where you can change the default messaging service using Siri on the iPhone. Now, last but not least, Siri can also hang up calls for you. So if your hands are tied up, maybe you're running, jogging at the gym, or whatever it may be, you can hang up a call, but you do want to hang up, Siri can actually hang the call for you. So you have to go into settings. You want to find the Siri extension, and then you want to make sure that the custom listening phrase is enabled, okay? And then you want to make sure that the hang call option right here is enabled as well so this will only work if you have the custom phrase to activate Siri is turned on if you don't have it turned on then this option will not appear so once you enable the hang call option all you have to do I'm gonna go ahead and call myself here and in the middle of the conversation or either works with FaceTime or regular phone calls as well I can say Siri hang up this call there you go and you can hang up a call so again if your hands are tied up maybe you're jogging or out running or even using carplay you don't want to mess with the uh, phone or anything like that you can use siri to hang up calls in ios 17 or above and these are some of the great new capabilities within siri there's a lot of work to go apple is planning some big changes hopefully for siri within ios 18 i'll continue following up with you guys as apple continues to improve siri thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something and i'll see you guys on the next one Peace.